What's up guys today's video is on the top 3 best gaming mouse in 2024. Through extensive research and testing I've put together a list of options that'll meet the needs of different types of buyers so whether it's price performance or its particular use we've got you covered. For more information on the products I've included links in the description box down below which are updated for the best prices. Now let's get started. Number 3 Steel Series Rival 3 the best word to describe the Rival 3 is unassuming. It doesn't look cheap, the black plastic chassis has a few tasteful angles, and it's coated in a comfortable, sweat-resistant material. But the only aesthetic touch is an lead strip on the underside, which is, admittedly, a pretty cool thing to find on such a cheap mouse. The device measures for 0.8 by 2.3 by 0.9 inches, making it both very small and very low to the ground. The Rival 3 has a left button, a right button, a clickable scroll wheel, a dots per inch, DPI, adjustment button and two thin thumb buttons. At the bottom of the mouse, there's a colorful lead strip, there's also a light-up SteelSeries logo on the palm rest. The mouse accommodates both claw and fingertip grips, but it's not nearly big enough for palm grip players, especially those with big hands. The Rival 3 runs on the SteelSeries Engine 3 software, which is generally comprehensible and easy to use. You can reprogram buttons, create macros, adjust DPI levels, and change the RGB lighting options. The Rival 3 performed well across multiple games, including Overwatch, Age of Empires 2, Definitive Edition, Thronebreaker, The Witcher Tales and World of Warcraft. I took a few minutes beforehand to reprogram the thumb buttons for each title. If you having suffered through the subpar performance of some truly cheap gaming mice, it was an absolute pleasure to find that the Rival 3, with the proper mouse pad, is almost as good as any of SteelSeries higher-end models. Number 2 Logitech G502X Lightspeed The Logitech G502X is the next generation of Logitech's best-in-class gaming mouse. The Logitech G502X Lightspeed is a smart upgrade for a smart gaming mouse. The G502X Lightspeed is a comfortable, functional and gorgeously designed device, with excellent core performance and plenty of extra features. Unlike its predecessor, however, the G502 is a little bit sleeker, a little bit more customizable and a little bit cheaper. The Logitech G502X Lightspeed is the basic version, which includes an ergonomic design, wireless USB connectivity, Logitech G-Hub software compatibility, a long battery life and a receiver that also supports Logitech G keyboards. If you're familiar with previous G502 models, then the Logitech G502X Lightspeed should look pretty familiar to you. While it's slightly lighter than the G502 Lightspeed, the G502X Lightspeed is still comfortable to hold and provides enough heft to help it go where it's supposed to. I tested the Logitech G502X Lightspeed with Age of Empires 4, Doom Eternal, Cyberpunk 2077 and Final Fantasy XIV, and loved the way it handled each game. In Age of Empires, the G502X Lightspeed helped me whiz around the map, assigning tasks and scoping out enemy positions as I went. Number 1 Razer Viper V2 Pro The Razer Viper V2 Pro is billed as a wireless esports mouse, but it's also ideal for everyday use. This is due to the device's lightweight, nondescript design, and its exceptional battery life. A slew of customization options via the Razer Synapse desktop app also lets you tailor the mouse's functionality to your tastes. This gaming mouse is 20% lighter than the Razer Viper Ultimate and sports several upgrades, such as longer battery life. The Razer Viper V2 Pro is a medium-sized mouse, which measures 5.0 by 2.3 by 1.5 inches. This is about an inch smaller than a lot of gaming mice. The bottom half of the mouse consists of the palm rest, which sports an etched Razer logo. It's a subdued graphic that doesn't draw much attention to itself on the black model. On the white version, the logo is noticeable, the right and left click buttons reside on the top half, with the scroll wheel resting between them. There are two thumb buttons on the left side, and a button on the bottom for turning the peripheral off and for manually changing the dots per inch, DPI, sensitivity. The Viper V2 Pro is plain. If it weren't for the Razer logo, which is all but invisible on the palm rest, you wouldn't even know the Viper V2 Pro was a gaming mouse. 
you can customize the Viper V2 Pro's various features via the Razer Synapse interface. You get a prompt to install the application the instant you connect the mouse to your computer. The Viper V2 Pro is great for both work and gaming. Because of its light weight and small size, I could use the mouse for hours without my hand getting tired or feeling cramped. The Viper V2 Pro is so functional that it's now become my primary mouse. Razer's marketing says that the Viper V2 Pro can last for more than 70 hours. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.